Welcome to the next video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And the topic today is walking into the kin kingdom. You will be set free. What does that mean, brothers and sisters, to be set free? Everybody is saying that, oh, when Jesus was on the cross, he suffered for us, he set us free. Yes, he set us free from sin. He set us free from the penalty of sin. We are still sinning, but he set us free from the penalty of sin. Our sins were forgiven. But now there is something else. We are still in bondage. In bondage to this world. In bondage to Babylon. We are still in bondage to the beast system. Every day we put a lot of efforts on the wrong side. Every day we put a lot of efforts into the world. Instead to focus on the example that the Lord has set for us. He was not focusing on his family. He was not focusing on his career. Was he continuing to be a carpenter? No. He was not focusing on the world. Has he ever talked about Caesar? Only one time when he said, what belongs to Caesar belongs to Caesar. And then that's it. Was he talking about the Pharisees and his great sermon last Sabbath? No. He only rebuked them. He was focused on one thing only. And that is moving and walking into the kingdom. Every parable that he had is about the kingdom. It's about the kingdom, kingdom and kingdom. And he showed forth the love of the father. The father who is the king of that kingdom. And he was spreading the gospel of the kingdom and no other gospel. Nothing what the churches have twisted and flexed to their own purpose. He was spreading the gospel of the kingdom. And now you will walk into that kingdom. The kingdom age is here and you're walking into it. And you're being set free. And why are you being set free? Because you will return to the Father. Your heart will be changed back to the Father. The sons will return to the Father. It's as in the parable of the prodigal son. All will come out of the swine stalls. All will come out of these bad places in this world. All will forget the world, forget their careers, and even their families if they are not willing to walk into the kingdom. And you will focus on moving into the kingdom as this image shows you here. You will pass over the threshold and you will enter the kingdom of heaven. How? By establishing the holy places, the embassies of heaven on earth, where you will already walk in advance in the dress rehearsal of the millennium kingdom, where you will walk in advance on holy ground, on kingdom ground, in the presence of the Father every day. Here at Triple Grace, we are 100% kingdom focused. Am I talking about this funny virus that is there? Am I talking about the enemy side? No. Am I talking about what happened in the world? Of course not. This is not our focus. We here, we have kingdom glasses on and we focus on the kingdom we know that our Lord and Savior is coming as a king of the millennium. And we have to prepare the people so that they can stand before him. And that they can be part of that family at this time. The family of heaven, not the family of the world, not the family of Babylon, not the family of a church or a denomination. Fallen, fallen, fallen. They are all fallen. Babylon is fallen. But the focus is now on the kingdom because this is what is coming up. The 
heavenly kingdom is coming down onto the earth. And here at Triple Grace we will establish these places where you will not only focus 100% on the kingdom, but where you will walk in the presence of God Almighty, in the shadow of the Almighty. Many people use this Psalm 91 today for, against the coronavirus. But that's the wrong focus. Focus Psalm 91 onto the kingdom and then you will get a solution. See, where is the dwelling place, the shadow of the Almighty? Where? A holy place, on holy ground, in the presence of the Lord, the kingdom. Not the world, not a church where a pastor is doing, being an actor on stage and everybody is applauding. Oh, you are getting so tinkled in your ears and you like it. You have no glasses for the kingdom, only glasses for the world. Brothers and sisters, you must walk into the kingdom. This is the next step. Don't miss the second coming of our Lord and Savior. He is coming for a kingdom. He is coming for the millennium kingdom. You will miss it if you will not focus on that kingdom. Every kingdom has a forerunner. His ministry had a forerunner, John the Baptist in the spirit of Elijah. Now we are also acting in the spirit of Elijah so that we can bring you on the focus of, to the kingdom and its principles and not only show you but manifest it here on earth. Being active, actively showing examples of mercy, love and compassion as a family community of heaven, as a holy place, where we'll remove our shoes and sandals and walk on that ground in the presence of the Lord daily, where we can walk in clean and spotless garment because we are a true bride made ready for the Lord, where there will be a never-ending wedding banquet, love meals every day when we come together, because we are a family, not a worldly family, we, because we do not belong genetically to one another in that way. But we are the family community of heaven, the two sons and daughters. And you know from the Bible that the world is groaning to bring them forth. The two sons and daughters of the kingdom who are 100% kingdom focused. Not worldly anymore. And all the sound that the people say, oh, I hear trumpets, and they make videos about all this one. This is a groaning of the world to bring forth, to travail, to bring forth the man child, to bring forth the two sons and daughters of the Most High, 100% focused on the kingdom. Or foreign, a foreign entity in this world. Every holy place is a foreign entity in this world as an embassy of every nation is a foreign entity in the nation where it is established. And even police cannot enter that place because it does not belong to the nation where it is established. In the same way the holy places are here protected by the Lord and nobody can enter it if you do not belong to the kingdom of God. If you have not been focused on the heavenly kingdom. Brothers and sisters, this paradigm shift is about the kingdom of God. And not in the spiritual, but in the physical. It will be manifested on earth. Heaven is coming down, is descending onto the earth. Places will be established, places of great light, of great power and great glory, filled with a powerful Holy Spirit. Acts 2.0 will come forth. And these people in unity as a family community of heaven will then go out into the neighborhood to fulfill the commandment of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to lift up the needy, the suffering, to wipe away the tears in the name of the Father, in the same way as Jesus Christ did it when he was on earth. 100% focus minded outside of the world, outside of Babylon. People are always asking me, Michael, what does it mean to be out of the world? You can be out of the world when you are 100% focus-minded 
and when you are acting for in kingdom purposes only are you doing that okay ask yourself ask yourself whom are you supporting right now Word, worthy things or charity worthy charities or kingdom based ministries and I tell you with 99.9% .9 people will come up to the conclusion that they support worldly things what are you where are you going to are you together with people who are kingdom minded or with church people who are worldly ask yourself these questions where is your focus and when you understand that you're focused in the world then you have to change and focus now towards the kingdom towards God Almighty and not in any spiritual way as the church is telling you oh you just go in your prayer closet and you are close to the Lord no manifest it let the people see your great light bring forth a holy place in your neighborhood let the people see that you belong to the kingdom that you are son or daughter of the most high in your real life no yes brothers and sisters it's difficult you think no it is so easy just shift your focus focus on the kingdom do not follow anymore your lukewarm pastors apostles evangelists when i see their videos on youtube then i say oh father Oh, my father, we are so far away from your kingdom. They're talking about blessings for businesses. They're talking about blessings for worldly issues. They're talking about blessings in the peace system. Oh, I feel so ashamed for them. And they call themselves prophets of the Most High. And they have nothing to do with the kingdom. They never, never focused on the kingdom. They're just focusing on the world. They, they, make, they make the position of a prophet a career. Oh, how will they be punished when the time will come? These are the people where the Lord will say, I never knew you. As it written in the Bible, he will say, I never knew you. And they will say, oh, we have prophesied in your name. And the Lord will say, I never knew you. Because they were not part of the kingdom. Their prophecy were in the world. Their prophecy is what is going on with the coronavirus what is going on with this and that worldly things so many great names will fall because the world is fallen focus your mind brothers and sisters on the kingdom alone join kingdom based ministries that will manifest the embassies of heaven on earth that will manifest the kingdom on earth that will walk in the spirit of Elijah to build the holy places where the principles of heaven of mercy, love and compassion will be applied for all to see righteous deeds the righteous deeds of the saints not fighting over Bible verses bickering with other denominations all fake, all enemy side come out, come out, come out being set free, walk over that threshold as in this image and enter the kingdom of heaven. Thank you, brothers and sisters. I hope that encourage you to return to the king, to return to God Almighty and to focus on the heavenly kingdom. If you have resources that you can spare, that you can assist us with, please be part of the challenge of God. So into the words. These are the words of the Lord. So into the words, so into the ministry. Help us to spread the message. Share the videos with your friends and family. And let them all shift from the world to the kingdom. Be blessed in the Lord. And I hope you will have a great day. The Lord will always protect you in his glory and his power. Amen and amen. Maranat.